Hey guys, it is time. We have the full information for Blue Gogeta, Final Form Frieza, Full Power, Super Saiyan Broly, and of course, there's our new EX Broly as well over here. Um, we have the banner information, we have the new events. Well, not really, there's like one new event. Um, and then the new equipment as well. So we're gonna just start off with, <laughs> actually, I'll put Frieza first. Yeah, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the hype units first. We'll do, um, because the reason I have Vegeta pulled up is he's going to be the comparison. Because actually, Gogeta and Broly are both uh, melee types. So I have Vegeta Blue pulled up for stats. Just for reference, they are the two highest stats in the game. Um, well, the two units would have the highest stats in the game, higher than Vegeta Blue. Vegeta Blue has finally been dethroned in terms of stats. Of course, the top four are all Legends Limited units. Frieza is actually quite high up on this list. He's He has the sixth highest stats in the game. Um, and then the five above him are all LS except for Merge and Masu, so that's pretty damn good. Um, so let's go ahead and just start looking at these characters. What do they do? We already know what some of them uh, do because of uh, the reveal earlier, and they provided us a little bit of information, but not all of it. So here we go. Uh, Gogeta Blue. Let's just start off with the monster, who I assume is a monster. Saiyan, Fusion, Fusion Warrior, God Key, Sagas of the Movies. Yeah, just like a million tags. Um, okay, so Strike Attack and Stri Blast Attack are 263 and 257. That's relatively balanced. Um, they did mention sort of that he's an all-around attacker, so uh, we already know that he buffs both um, offenses with his Z ability as well, so that's pretty good. So it looks like he's not really going to be prioritizing either strike or blast attack, so it's going to be just, you know, whatever you whatever you have available to you at that, at that point is what you uh, prioritize in your, in your hand in terms of arts cards. 263, 257 versus 259, 245. Yeah, that's like not even... <laughs> it's like not even close. Like, the blast attack's way higher. Uh, strike defense is 161 versus 160, 160 versus 160, so higher defenses. And then this guy is 249, and then he is 247, so a little bit less health. But overall, this guy has better stats than Vegito Blue, which is ridiculous, because Vegito Blue obviously has the best stats in the game, uh, barring uh, Zenkai units, obviously. But um, Okay, let's just take a look. Uh, main ability, I'm far... Okay, wait. Okay, so, yeah, the, the actual uniques are pretty long as well. <laughs> They're not as long as Vegito Blue's, though, so... Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's see. I'm far stronger than that. Draws the ultimate arts card, Meteor Explosion, next. Restores unhealth by 30%, key by 40. Um, gains attribute upgrade, minus 100% enemy sustained damage cut for 30 counts? Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Well, I'm going to get to why that's ridiculous in a little bit. Well, let's just finish reading this. And then you nullify his own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 30 timer counts. So he gets like the, I guess, the Beerus and God Goku. So when Beerus and the red God Goku first came out, they had the ability to nullify um, what it says right here, attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 30 timer counts. Um, but that was only three times. This is just, throughout these 30 timer counts, you can't do anything. So you can't faint him, you can't inflict paralysis. You can't, like, make him take more damage. Stuff like that. So, okay. Uh, unique ability number one is Ultimate Fusion. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts. 60% of damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Reduce damage received by 30%. 50% of key recovery. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Return <laughs> health by 10%. Which is key by 30. Does this end? 20% of damage inflicted for, for 20 timer counts. Um, and then gains buff effect, nullifies enemies, special actions that activate when changing cover for 10 timer counts. Yeah, so this is the reason why I think um, this is so ridiculous, because this synergizes really well with this, because basically what this means is you don't have to worry about any cover effects at all. He's basically immune to being like affected by these cover effects. So if you have the main ability popped and you're getting this, you know, basically ignore sustain damage cut effects, you can just keep comboing without, have to worry, without have to, having to worry about cover cut or any special cover changes so it's literally just Jiren on super super steroids <laughs> and he's also getting what is a 60 80 percent damage inflicted uh, he's just healing randomly every time he comes in um, he's getting key on switch in and he gets 50 percent key recovery for just existing okay uh, all surpassing power is the next unique 25 percent of damage inflicted against tag powerful opponent that's pretty good gonna be canceled uh, applies the following effects to self upon landing a strike or blast arts Oh boy, 10% of damage inflicted, up to 50% cannot be cancelled, that just stacks permanently. 5% to ultimate damage inflicted, up to 30% cannot be cancelled. And then, yeah, knocks enemy back to long range if a cover change is performed against their strike arts attack activated during assists, okay? And then you can combo it into the blue card. 
Um, I don't believe we actually saw the animation for this in the uh, Twitter preview or the or the stream or video that they showed. So we'll have to see what that looks like in the game. But uh, dude, so he's stacking up to 50% damage. He's getting 60% for entering. That's, that's 110. Plus this is 130%. Plus he's getting key. Plus he's getting this. Plus he just he's just buffing his ult as well. For, you know why not? And he's a powerful opponent. He's just doing more damage as well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Regular strike card to blast is anti-armor. 100% to blast damage inflicted against enemies' armor. Okay. That's just on the blast card. So if Broly is flying at you, for instance, like if Bro the, the new full power Broly Super Saiyan is flying at you, you just use your blast card. It's going to do like a billion, jillion damage to him, I guess. And that, that, that's kind of reminiscent of the um, existing transforming uh, Super Saiyan Blue, or, or the transforming Super Saiyan Gogeta. Um, because he also has an effect like that, but I don't. I think it's. I don't think it's 100%. Um, then the blue card is the Stardust Shooter. Deals massive impact. You can teach this. Okay. Deals massive impact damage. 30% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts upon activation. That's really good. And then minus 50% health restoration for 20 counts. Yeah, this is dumb. Like <laughs> you can actually teach this to Shallot. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, the green card is God Counter. We saw this. Um, yeah, this is like the most bust. If you can actually land this, you like, you basically win the game, I think. Uh, reduces damage C by 30% for five timer counts by uh, activating this. Counter will activate upon enemies tap, attacks, tap, tackle, or strike arts. So any like melee oriented attack while fighting pose. The following effects occur when counter activates, draw a strike arts card next. Uh, Restores key by 40, 50% damage inflicted, cancels enemies attribute upgrades, and no switching for five counts. Any combos into anything? Okay, yeah, that's. <laughs> It's pretty damn good. And here we go. So Meteor Explosion is Supreme Impact Damage. That is the same multiplier we've seen on Vegito Blue as well as the UI Goku. Um, he then gets 30% ultimate damage inflicted for three counts, which is interesting because he gets 50%. Okay. Um, nullifies enemies, restore health when it reaches zero effect. So it nullifies endurance and blast armor. So the only thing that this has, or the, the Vegito has that his doesn't have, is it doesn't nullify um, this you know, special whatever. And it doesn't um, nullify the damage cut, but he literally gets that nullification on damage cut from his main, so it doesn't matter. And the reason why I think it's only 30% here and not 50 is because he already is stacking the damage for the ultimate from this unique ability right here. So technically, if you get this all the way built up, it's 30% plus the already existing 30% down here, which means it's 60%. So it's actually more powerful <laughs> than Vegito's and UI Goku's. Okay. Uh, and then the arts cards that he holds, we have uh, just a strike attack damage up. Strike card uh, with 20% of strike damage inflicted for two timer counts effects when used. Okay, um, and then blast one is literally the same. No, it's not the same actually. It's um, blast damage up. Blast cards with plus 10% of damage inflicted to self for 10 timer counts um, when used. Okay, the interesting thing about this is that the 10% damage you get is not specifically blast damage. Yeah, so every time you use this card, you just get 10% damage inflicted buff for 10 counts. Okay, seems a balanced. Yeah, seems balanced. Um, and then the Z ability, right? You know, is a movies, God key, and fusions, and that's 14 stars is 35%. So all those strike, strike, and blast attacks with both offenses. Oh, okay. Um, uh, seems really good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, is he the best unit in the game? Uh, it's tough to say, but. Um, I think what's going to make him really annoying to fight against is if once he starts comboing you, you literally can't do anything about it. Like you can't cover change into him, you can't activate sustain damage cut against him, you can't do anything. See, he has this like ridiculous ability in addition to this. So even if you go into somebody like Full Power Frieza or the um, the uh, movie, uh, the, the Green Brawler that just got a Zenkai in the movies team, like they're not going to be able to even tank. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're just gonna die. Like the green brawl is gonna switch in and try to do the strike cover. He's gonna get nullified, and then his sustained damage cut's not even gonna be active. <laughs> okay, yeah, this guy is very, very, um, I guess, beginner friendly um, in that sense because you don't have to worry about those cover changes uh, activating against him. So there is Gogeta. He seems really, really good. Uh, let's move on and see what Broly looks like. So this is obviously Super Saiyan Broly full power. Saiyan, Super Saiyan, powerful opponent, and movies. So, you know, Super Saiyan is looking pretty good. And let me just say that. Um, okay, so technically he does have a lower stat spread than Gogeta does. But let's just compare him once again to a blue Vegito. So Broly has 256 and 245. We have 259 and 245. So it's similar. 
Um, but I expect Broly's defenses to be higher. Uh, yeah, 165 versus 161, and then Vegeta's at 160, 160, and then Broly's health is at 253, so that's higher than Vegeta's as well. So, the main thing I w that's good about this guy is his blast defense is not low, because he's going to be using his blast armor, that's the main reason, he's, the main way he's going to be uh, initiating his combos. I would have liked to see this 165 over here, and then these two defense values swapped, but that, that's fine. Um, because he does also have a strike uh, cover uh, change, so... Okay, we'll see how this guy works. Uh, that's pretty long as well. Um, all right, so the main ability is Limitless Evolution. Draws the Ultimate Arts card Gigantic Force next, which was own health by 25% and key by 50. Gain buff effect nullifies enemies' special actions to activate when changing cover for 15 timer counts. Okay, so he has the Majin Vegeta effect. Where's Majin Vegeta? The blue one. Um, right here. So Majin Vegeta actually has a similar thing to him. Yeah, gain buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for 10 timer counts, and that's probably just the same thing, it's just better. <laughs> just, just five seconds longer, yeah, okay. Um, and then cancels and attribute downgrades in normal conditions, okay. Uh, wait. <laughs> I'm just looking at this other unique. Meteoric progress. 50% of damage inflicted against Saiyans. What? What? <laughs> Um, wait, what? 50% of strike damage inflicted against all characters except Saiyan? Okay. So, okay, I get it. So, if you're fighting a Saiyan, you're doing 50% increased damage to all of your things, all of your attacks. But against Saiyans, it's... All, oh, no, for any non-Saiyans, it's only strike attack. Okay. I mean, that's honestly not a huge deal because... He's obviously more so strike based. He has blast armor, and yeah, I think that's that, that's not really a big problem. Um, the only thing that is, this would um, also impact the ultimate. It would impact the special move. So something to keep in mind as well. Yeah, twenty percent to damage inflicted for ten timer counts every time he uses an arts card. So you know, any any green card, any blue card, any strike card, any blast card, it's, it's all buffing this. Twenty percent damage inflicted for ten timer counts when this character evades an enemy with vanishing step, and then the same thing for um, once an enemy's attack is over. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, the falling, or sorry, the convergence of wrath is the other unique. When this character is on the battlefield, applies the falling effects to self when enemy switches characters. Restores health by ten percent. Activates five times. Yeah, that's it. Just yeah, you know, just five times. You know, it's not a, it's not a huge deal. Um, at that point, I don't know why they didn't just make it permanent. <laughs> Uh, 25% to damage inflicted for 10 timer counts, so yeah. Card draw speed! Okay. Give, give me one sec. Um, I gotta pull up a certain character. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Yup. Yeah. Mm hmm. Looking for this, like, certain thing. So Android 18 is known as, obviously Zenkai, right? Is known as the unit that you really, really don't want to switch against, right? You don't want to switch against anything because she's going to get this buff. 20 key and one draw speed level for 10 counts. Here's Broly. He gets card draw speed. He gets 25% damage inflicted. And he gets restores health. And he restores his vanishing gauge by 50%. The only thing he doesn't do is give himself key. Um, which, uh, we'll see how much that actually, you know, affects him, but, uh, yeah, it, this is really, you don't want to switch versus Broly, let me tell you. <laughs> um, and then reduces damage received by 40% until combo ends when changing cover, so he has cover cut as well. And then it knock, he knocks enemies back to long range of cover change performed against a strike attack, so yeah, that's a special cover change versus strike cards, and you can combo that with the blue card as well. Uh, strike is blast armor. The blast card is restores own key by five upon activation. That's similar to um, this Goku right here, who I believe he restores ten per blast card. Yes, he does. Um, and uh, the special move is the blaster cannon. Oh my god! <laughs> no. Um, Deals massive impact damage and then a 30% chance to inflict faint. At least you can't teach this to Shallot. At least you can't teach that to Shallot. Um, special skill is Roar of Awakening. Restores own key by 30. Okay. Uh, increases own. He actually gets card draw speed from this? Oh my god, dude. 
Um, increases own arch card draw speed by one level for 15 timer counts, and then reduces next damage sustained by 30%. Hmm. You know why that's... Because I'm thinking about his blast armor, right? His blast armor is going to be why you want to, I guess, strategically use this green card. Like, you want to float to mid-range, pop the green card, um, and then see if your enemy's going to, like, shoot a blast card at you. So you can just use strike armor or blast armor to get into uh, the to get in you know next to the enemy and start actually do like just killing them right and initiate a combo. So if you use this, you're getting arch card draw speed, which is gonna literally just make this ridiculous, right? Every time you use this arch card, you get extra damage, um, and it's, you're gonna take less damage from the blast card, which is the reason why I said I wish these defense values were swapped. But now that we know this. Like, you want to just pump this guy full of green cards is what you want to do, to be honest. Okay, um, I'm actually happy this can't be stacked because that would be one of the most broken green cards in the game if it was stackable. Um, and then the ultimate is Gigantic Force. Deals massive impact damage and applies the following effects itself on activation. 30% uh, ultimate damage of multiple three counts and then gain attribute upgrade, minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cut. Okay, and then it inflicts forced switching on hit. Interesting, this is... Um, Actually, similar to EX Shugesh's blue card, because I believe his also uh, inflicts force switching um, on an attack. And then he has blast armor, obviously. So, uh, and his, he'll, he has two strike cards. One of them is strike card, which inflicts enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10% damage received. Yep, pretty, uh, definitely needed that. And uh, powerful opponent, Saga of the Movies. And, and then, yeah, at six stars, he gains a secondary effect. Wow, that's a lot of stats. Powerful effect or sagas from the movies based strike attack and defense and 18% to characters that are both of those tags based blast attack. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Broly's looking pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we'll move on to Frieza. Um, I guess for Frieza, we will pull up Zamasu as a reference. Uh, we'll make him 14 real quick. Frieza's already 14. So here's the thing with Freezer, right? I initially wasn't very happy with the fact that they made him another range damage dealer because V-Jump was, like, specifically saying, oh, yeah, like, he's going to be, like, some, you know, very high damage dealing ranged unit, and that's not what the LOE team needs. The LOE team needed a red unit, so that's an already W. The fact that he's red is, like, a big thumbs up for me. Um, and uh, based off of what we know from the reveal earlier, he's actually looking pretty good, like, really, really good, and, and not just a damage dealer either. He's doing a lot of other stuff that the team needs. So, uh, Zamasu's stats, I guess we'll, we'll look at Freeze's first. So, Strike Attack, actually, Strike Attack's pretty damn good, him, even though he's a range type. 237 and then 248, and Zamasu's is 232 and then 252. So, obviously, um, you know, pretty decently balanced, and he has one, 164, 163 defenses, which are higher than Zamasu's. Um, and then his health is a little bit lower, but that's okay. Um, so, stats look pretty good. Uh, obviously, Frieza Forest, Transforming Warrior, Lineage of Evil, Sagas in the Movies, all that stuff. Um, okay, yeah, he's this is pretty long as well. Uh, what the heck is all this? Uh, main ability is Shelby Put You to a Little Test. Uh, Jedi Elemental Card, uh, Nova Storm next, which was on key by 30. 30% 30 ultimate damage inflicted for 20 timer counts, and then inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade. Minus 2 arch card draw speed for 15 counts. That's a long time. Like, just stall for stalling purposes. You use that after the enemy rising rushes or something, they're not going to be getting cards for a long time. Um, okay, so yeah, this is looking pretty good already. Uh, unique ability number one is the Emperor Arrives. The falling effects occur when the skin enters the battlefield. 80%, okay, to damage inflicted. Seems pretty good. Uh, reduces damage received by 25%, and then draws a special arts card next, which so draws a green card. Interesting. Um, he also increases damage inflicted according to the number of Dragon Balls you possess. 3 to 6 is 30%, and then 7 is 50. So if you have all 7 Dragon Balls, he's doing 130% damage extra. <laughs> because he's getting this plus this. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ignoble Extermination is the second uh, unique ability. The following effects occur upon landing, ice strike, or blast arts hit. Um, Restores on key by 10. Really? Okay. That's <laughs> really good. Um, inflicts enemies with attribute downgrade uh, plus 25% damage received for 10 timer counts, and then inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus 50% to health recovery for 10 timer counts. And then applies the following effects to enemy when this character lands a blast arts. 
Reduces key by 50. Yeah. Very, very, <laughs> very balanced ability. Um, and then inflicts attribute downgrade minus 30% to key recovery. So think about this. <laughs> if he's landing a blast card, okay? Just think about this. If he's landing a blast card, he's restoring his own key by 10. He's inflicting enemy with attribute downgrade, 20% of damage received, and minus 50% of health recovery. He's reducing the enemy key by 50, and he's uh, making them reduce their key recovery by 30%. From one blast card. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, regular strike, regular blast cards. Uh, special move is the surprise death beam. Deals massive pierce damage, so it's good that he does massive damage on this. It is a lunging forward uh, thing. It says that it's blast armor, which is really, really good. Um, Gain attribute down upgrade, uh, minus 100% of scene damage cut, okay. 100% chance to inflict heavy bleed, okay, cool. Yeah, th this is a good blue card. Um, the blast armor really helps it a lot. Um, the special skill is Psycho Capture. Applies the following effects to self upon activation, randomly draws one card, um, and then cancels enemies' buff effects, pretty good. Take your opponent's Dragon Balls and add them to your own on hit. Effects will change according to how many Dragon Balls they possess. One or more, take one, gain one. None gain one. So you still gain a Dragon Ball even though if they don't have any. A hundred percent chance to inflict paralysis on it. <laughs> Wait, there's no there's no limit on this. What? What is this green card? <laughs> there's no limit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, the ultimate is uh, Nova Storm. Again, another lunging forward ultimate. Obviously, most ultimates are like that. Actually, all of them are. Deals massive explode damage. The volume effects occur on hit, which was on health by 40. Okay, so that's like this guy. I think this guy's 50 on the ultimate. I don't remember. No, it is 40. It's literally the same. <laughs> it's just better. <laughs> it's just better than full power Super Saiyan 4's ult. Uh, destroys all of your enemies' cards and cancels their upgrades. <laughs> okay. And he has paralysis on a blast card that he holds. Um, what is this? Yeah, so yeah, Sagas in the movies or lineage, blast attack and defense, and then strike defense as well. The lineage, uh, dude, th this guy might secretly be like the best unit <laughs> that came out. Today. <laughs> okay, I take back everything bad I said about this guy. <laughs> I just didn't want him to be a generic, um, you know, range damage dealing unit for LOE because LOE did not need that. Take a look at the LOE team. <clears throat> Like, like, this guy is, like, technically a more ranged-oriented unit. Golden Frieza is eventually going to get a Zenkai at some point, right? He's a ranged-oriented unit. We have the new EX Zenkai first form Frieza. He's ranged. He's ridiculously powerful. So this team didn't need um, all these ranged... And even final form full power Frieza. Like, he is more ranged-oriented when you're using him offensively. So um, this team really desperately needed a red. They did a really good job with that. And they made him absurd. So I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you for actually creating a really, really well-designed, well, well-designed is in busted, I guess, <laughs> red unit for this team. Um, all right, let's move on to EX Broly. So this guy's a defense type. He's on Freezer Force Saiyans. Actually, Freezer Force could be interesting. We'll see what he does. Um, and then Sagas from the movies. Strike attack, blast attack is pretty decent. Obviously, this is at 14 stars, so not almost nobody's going to have this guy at 14 stars. Um, the defenses are pretty d damn good though, because we, we compare Broly, his e this EX, his defenses, somebody like, uh, I don't know, Gogeta, they're like almost the same, so that's pretty good. But he's a defense type, so that makes sense. Okay, main ability is Forged by Battle, restores ally health by 25%. Wow, okay, so he's healing the whole team. Draws a green card next, up cancels enemy attribute upgrades, okay. Uh, unique ability number one is Primal Stamina. Reduces damage received by 30% when battle starts. Cannot be cancelled. Okay, it's already okay. Applies the following effects itself according to the number of timer counts elapsed. 20 timer counts is reduces damage received by 10%, and then 40 is 5. Okay, so he gets up to 45% um, damage reduction, but it has to wait 40 counts. Eh, we'll see. <clears throat> uh, unique ability number 2 is Kindling Rage. Applies the following effects itself according to the number of battle members when this character enters the battlefield. Wow. So he's, he's kind of like a last man standing oriented kind of. He's, he's very vanilla, but it's actually he's actually not bad. If he's a last man standing, he's more often than not going to have the full unique here. So he's going to have the 45% <clears throat> damage reduction here. But then he um, he's also going to have 100% damage inflicted. <laughs> this is just, just straight up good, right? Um, okay. 
So regular strike, regular blast card, and special move is the Anger Shout, major impact damage. 20% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts by activation, which is good. Um, special skill is the unlock key form of attack, which was key by 40. And then 30% of damage inflicted. It's actually not a bad green card at all. Restoring key is very good. Um, and then he buffs Sagas in the movies and holds a striker blast card. Or Saiyans, or, wow, okay. Oh, he's doing this thing again, again too. So Sagas in the movies or Saiyans, both defenses. Or 18% of strike attack if you're in both. So, Gogeta and Broly. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, he, he actually doesn't look that bad for an EX unit. So, that's all for the new units. Uh, I am actually really impressed by Frieza, and this is not me being an LOE, like, fanboy. Like, he legitimately looks, like, ridiculously good. Like, they, they all look ridiculously good. Like, obviously, Gogeta looks stupid, Broly looks stupid, and Frieza, they all look stupid to me. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we'll take a look at the banner. So it is two banners. We have the Gogeta. Just literally just called the Gogeta. And we have the Broly. So we'll take a look at Gogeta's first because I think more, more people are more interested in this. They change up the format. Um, we don't know for sure what the bonuses for the steps are going to be because they said specifically in the in-game news. Actually, let me see if they can actually pull that up here real quick. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it says right here, the perks for each step are different from previous Legend Step Up Summons. And then specifically says it's a super high value summon. So DBC Space unfortunately does not tell us what the perks are. Like we can't see, oh, is it a guaranteed, you know, sparking? Is it guaranteed double rates? Is it guaranteed EX? We don't know. It doesn't tell us that. So uh, we will have to wait for the actual game to have the summons uh, screen out of maintenance before we'll be, we'll be able to see what these, uh, what these perks are going to be. So 2 a.m. Eastern is when this happens, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But it is an additional, um, as you can see from the image here, you, there's only five steps. And I'll, I'll have, the reason why I have this banner pulled up right here, actually, where is it? Um, yeah, this. the reason why I have this banner pulled up is because um, I want to show this has seven steps, which is the, the, the generic way that they've done step ups in this game before. This, these two banners specifically only have five steps to them. Um, so there's less steps to do, but in total it costs 4,000, or sorry, uh, yeah, 4,000, because if you go to step two after step five, so you go through all these. Step one is only the first time you go through it. Um, and then once you complete step five, <clears throat> you go back to step two, right? And then you go step two, three, four, five, it's 4,000 crystals. Whereas for this one, um, you go back to step three, so you get, you know, uh, the 3,000 from here, plus the 700. So this takes 3,700 crystals to do a uh, full rotation on this banner, whereas on this banner it's 4,000, so it's 300 extra crystals to do this. And then also this banner has a free multi, whereas these ones do not. But there is a giant W because of the fact that Gogeta and Broly both have twice the rates that a normal LF has, which is 0.5%. Every other LF, like you take a look at the UI Goku banner, UI Goku has 0.25%. Every LF that has ever come out, besides Goten, um, <clears throat> has had a 0.25% rate on their banner. Not anymore, apparently. <clears throat> Sorry. I've been talking and screaming for a little bit. Um, Gogeta has 0.5%, and so does Broly. So <clears throat> that is a big deal, in my opinion. I will gladly take... Um, the 300 crystals extra to go through a rotation if it means that Gogeta is going to have twice the rate as well as Broly. Okay. Now, this banner has five LFs on it. Frieza? Finally. Super Saiyan 3 Goku honestly has not been on that many banners at all. I'm happy he's back. I only have mine at Red 3. I've only pulled two copies of this character ever, and he's at Red 3. From I literally, I've bought like at least like eight copies or something from tickets. Like, it's ridiculous. Um... Namakoku's back, obviously really, really good unit, good Zenkai am, Beerus as well, but Beerus has been like a billion banners. Please don't feed me Beeruses, please. Freeze is here, uh, we have Great Saiyan 1 and 2 returning for the first time. We have Super Saiyan Gotenks, we have Yellow Vegito finally on a banner that doesn't suck. <laughs> and then actually we have Lavender and uh, Danger Doping returning for the first time ever, um, which is cool. So uh, this banner doesn't look like super, super good, but Yellow Vegito is obviously still, still really good. This guy's a great unit to use as support for movies. So he's not bad, because if you, if, you, if you end up pulling Gogeta or Broly, you can pair him alongside Great Saiyan 1 and 2. Um, but this banner certainly is not bad. Again, we'll have to wait and see uh, once the in-game uh, summoning screen gets updated to see what the actual perks are for this, this, the steps. And then the same thing for Broly's banner. Um, the only other thing to mention also is that there are not enough tickets to actually do a full ticket summon, assuming that you need five tickets still. 
Um, because you, you only get four per rotation, but it's not that big of a deal. So Broly's Banner is hands down better. Like, it's ridiculous. Majin Vegeta returned for the first time. Got Vegeta Blue. LF Piccolo, who's only returned on his, like, really bad, like, return banner. Gohan, best unit of the game that we know of until maybe one of these guys is better. We'll see. Broly, 0.5%. Goku Black is returning for the first time. So is uh, uh, Revival Cell. Boo Tanks is also returning for the first time, but I don't think anybody cares. Turles is back. Good support for movies. Well, good, but, you know, good is subjective. Um, Bergamo is back for the first time. This is, this banner is like top, top, top tier. If you're going to summon out a banner, this is a better banner. But this one has Gojino on it. So, <laughs> I mean, you could choose, right? Um, so those are the banners. Um, and then the story events. Uh, there's really not that many events. I assume next week is when they're going to push out more events in the game. Uh, we are getting a new co-op against Broly. Um, and they did mention in the actual video uh, that we will be also be getting, or not the video, on Twitter, that we will be getting a, a new raid event that we'll be re releasing, I think, literally on New Year's. And the special character is going to be Gogeta, uh, Gogeta Blue versus Broly, and that will give us a special type of currency that we don't know, uh, we haven't gotten before. Um, and then finally, we have this new equip, which I assume is going to be, um, so this season's going to be new. It's called, like, the New Year's thing or something. I don't know, it's, it's basically Golden Showdown for New Year's. Um, and you're going to be getting those coins. So I assume this equip is what you exchange those coins for. This is only available for fusion dance characters. So, you know, Gotenks and Gogeta. Um, this is a really good equip. It has health. <laughs> has health on it. So, um, yeah. Uh, base strike attack up to 13. And then strike both defenses up to 10. Yeah, this is a really, really good equip. I'm going to be farming the hell out of this. I'm going to get at least three Zs of this. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's a lot to digest in this video. This was a longer one because I really wanted to go in-depth with these units, but um, there we go. Blue Gogeta, full power Super Saiyan Broly, Final Form Frieza, um, the EX Broly here, the banners, as well as the Hyperdimensional Co-op and the, the equip. So that's it for me. Um, here we go. Uh, we're about to enter full hyper mode overdrive or whatever, but... <laughs> You guys can let me know down below what you guys think of uh, everything that I've talked about in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next one.